given her five minutes of warning. So, Eden, it's just, I, I couldn't give you more warning because I didn't know about this, but you know, I was thinking about testimony time this morning, and then I thought about Eden's testimony of what happened to her at the conference which we had two weeks ago. And Eden, she can talk a lot. But when she gives a testimony, it's just bang, 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 bang. And there it is. You get three sentences. And wow. So basically, two weeks ago, at the conference, you told us that Jesus took you to the Garden of Eden. So where did it happen? Um, it was just there. Just there. You, you, okay. Turn the mic on. That's, you know how that works? Oh, yeah. Here we go. A light show. Thanks, Carl. So, what were you doing there? Were you worshiping or running around? Um, Bernie was praying for uh, some. Sorry, for kids okay, so yeah. So, so no adults. <laughs> so some some. Okay, thank you, Bernie. <laughs> okay, so you got prayed for by yeah. some other kids. We're, yeah, and um, we were just catching each other and. Did you actually fall as you were prayed for? And so you were lying there, and, and then what happens? Um, I was just closing my eyes and just talking to God, and then he just suddenly caught me into the Garden of Eden and just left me in there. Clearly, so, because I um, really want to know these things. So what does that mean? Did you see a picture? or what, Was it Jesus or God the Father? Um, it was Jesus. Jesus. And could you actually see him? Mm -hmm. So what did he look like? <laughs> well, I couldn't really see his face because there was just a big shining light. On his okay, face. shining light. So but he, you knew it was him. Yeah. And you were walking towards it, like it's a fair distance from here, like <laughs> where you're just immediately there. Mm -hmm. And how did you know it was the Garden of Eden? Because I recognized that the tree of good and evil when he led me away from it. So there was the tree of good and evil, and. You know, and you wanted to take some of the fruit? Yeah. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that intrigues me, but, you know, like, that's probably a sermon in that one, but I haven't really. Um, I was told that you saw Moses as well. I saw biblical characters, and I saw my great-grandmother and all these family and friends that um, have died. Did they all line up and welcome you? Or how? Um, they were just in a big group. What were they doing? They were just like kind of celebrating that I was getting closer to God. They were, did it have anything to do with you or were you just observing them? Uh, I was just observing You were them. observing them? What did Moses look like? He <laughs> <laughs> yeah, had like a brown beard and brown hair. Yeah? yeah. Was he tall? Yes. <laughs> he was tall. How did you know it was Moses? I mean, none of them introduced themselves to you. The staff. Oh, you recognize the staff? It may have been Aaron. <laughs> um, how did you know the other characters? You know, some people you recognize because you knew them in mm -hmm. real life here. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, most of the people that passed away, I knew what they'd look like because... Yeah, I've just seen pictures of them. Um, yeah. yeah. So they were younger than you knew them, but you recognised them from pictures? Um, they were actually the same age when they died, but I could oh. recognise them. Okay, you can. It, was there any other biblical characters? There was Rahab there. Rahab? Wow. Rahab? Like, how did you recognise her? Red hair and, like, because we have this picture, I think God just, like, like God just, like, um... He kind of just made it a bit easier for me because we have this book of all the female biblical characters. Yeah. And um, there was a picture of Rahab there and God just made it look like that picture in real life. Okay. Mm. All right. So how long do you think were you actually in the Garden of Eden? I don't know. <laughs> it was... What did it feel like? It felt like about maybe 10, 15 minutes or Okay, 10, 15 minutes. And what do you think, why did God do that for you? I don't know. I just, 
I just like talking to God when I just like, it's when I can't go to sleep or it's just when I'm having a bad day or it's just any time I just talk to God and usually we're just always, he's taking me places. I oh, so that's not the first time. It's not the first time he is, mm. probably the first time to the Garden of Eden. Yeah. But you had sort of other visions before? He's, he um, has given me visions of him, but not just me and him. It was just him. Okay. All right. So just conversations with him. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for being so <laughs> open. Isn't that fascinating? Does it fascinate you? And do you believe her? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I, I love it. You know, you think the person that it would happen to would be just all pious and quiet and meek and mild and, you know, never doing anything else but praying. But we know Eden. Hey, she, she's a bundle of energy, just like I've seen her at home, whatever, just Pure energy she just bounces up and down. If she has nowhere to go, she bounces up and down. So, but you know, loves God, and then God does something totally surprising and unexpected. Now, I, I do have another reason why I was a bit more nosy about that because if you remember back two and a half years ago, Eden was one of the first ones in this church that got the spiritual gift of interpreting tongues. Remember that? So two and a half years ago, she, she was pretty much the first. And when she got it, and we sort of stepped out into it, suddenly so many other people in our church now got that gift. And it's a more common gift now. Anytime we want, we can interpret, because there are people that can do it. So I thought, God, you know, back then you used Eden to have a bit of a breakthrough for us into something new in the Holy Spirit, you know? Could it be that, you know, you took her at the conference to the Garden of Eden, that's also a breakthrough that others will join into? So I thought, I don't know how spiritual that, you know, how prophetic that thought is, but I like it. <laughs> and why don't we take it? Yes. You know, so Lord Jesus, we're believing that you open something up, um, you let it happen to Eden. It's in the church now. There's something in the spirit where visions and dreams and encounters and trances. And Lord, in the Bible, so many people had a visit to heaven. There was Paul and John and Revelation and Ezekiel and Isaiah and so many, Lord, so many people. And Lord, you say it's available. And Lord, I pray here in this church, we are open to it. And Lord, I pray that you release it among many more people, unsuspecting, they're in prayer and suddenly they're somewhere in heaven and they see things and experience things. Lord, I pray, make it common here in this church. Amen.